What's up guys, I'm Vile Self, and I got a commentary here for Call of Duty Ghost on the map Stonehaven. Just doing some team deathmatch here. Get a pretty good score in this game, I think it's like 24-3 and three or something like that. Um, I do get sort of close to getting a chem strike, but uh, I think I die at around the 20 kill mark or something like that. But anyways, the topic for today is something that, uh, it's a little different. It's not gaming related or anything like that. It's something that I kind of find interesting and something that I've been wanting to learn about and been doing some research on and you know it might be something that you're completely unaware of so maybe hopefully this video educates you and hopefully you learn something new by watching this but the topic for today is the pineal gland um, the pineal gland is a tiny pine cone shaped organ that's located in the center of your brain uh, it's basically at the top of your spinal column and it's about the size of a grain of rice Nearly all vertebrates have a pineal gland, with a few small exceptions, such as the hagfish, which is known to be one of the most primitive creatures on Earth. The pineal gland is responsible for releasing melatonin into the body. The gland works in tandem with your eyes and produces melatonin based on the amount of light and darkness that you take in through your optic nerve. The more darkness you are exposed to, the more melatonin your pineal gland will release. Having a light source shine into your eyes and through your optic nerve halts the release of melatonin into your body. Melatonin is what's responsible for our biological clock and our sleep patterns. The more melatonin a person gets, the more they will be able to sleep. Melatonin starts to release through the body at around 3 months of age and it peaks at around age 20. Some studies show that the pineal gland releases less amounts of melatonin as you get older and this causes problems in older people regarding sleeplessness and chronic fatigue. Yet other studies show that melatonin doesn't increase with age at all. Aside from your biological clock, your pineal gland is also responsible for detecting annual rhythms and seasonal changes and is also said to have a lot to do with the reproductive system and the timing of fertility. Some people believe that through acts of meditation and yoga or other methods, people are able to tune in the frequencies of their pineal gland and gain a sense of all-knowing or a godlike euphoria. It is said that stimulating the pineal gland can allow you to witness and interact with different dimensions and the spiritual world. And this actually has some truth to back it up. The pineal gland is also known as our third eye and is responsible for our dreams. Have you ever had a dream where you're in a strange place unlike anything you've ever seen before? And there are strange creatures or strange faces or perhaps you yourself look or are acting in a strange or unusual, unnatural way? Your pineal gland is responsible for that and some people think that during sleep you are actually traveling to different dimensions and accessing the spiritual realm through the power of your pineal gland. There is a scary part to this and here is where the conspiracies come in. Essentially, if humans begin tapping into the power of their pineal gland and were able to access the spiritual world as well as other dimensions, it could mean big trouble for the balance of humanity and it would be a massive threat to the governments that run our societies. For this reason, scientists have actually narrowed down an ingredient that when absorbed into the body goes straight for the pineal gland and that ingredient is sodium fluoride. The pineal gland is basically a magnet to sodium fluoride and it absorbs more sodium fluoride than anything else in the body. Essentially, this is not good for the gland because it kills it. It does no harm to your mental or physical state, but it does restrict the type of spiritual connections that you may have. And guess what? Sodium fluoride is found in just about everything we consume, from our drinking water to all of our food. Conspiracy theorists believe that this ingredient is purposely added by the government so that they can suppress the power of our pineal gland in order to maintain control of the population. After all, the word government does translate to mind control because govern means to control and ment is a prefix to the word mental which essentially means of or relating to the mind. There was a lot more than what I've talked about regarding this special tiny little piece of flesh that's inside your head so feel free to research it if this topic interests you at all because it definitely interests me and I'm definitely going to try to learn more about it. But before this video comes to an end, we're going to do a little test. We're going to put your pineal gland to the test because you can activate it basically any time you feel like activating it. So what I want you to do is I want you to picture, picture an airplane. Just imagine an airplane right now. You can see the wings. You can see the tail of the plane. You can see the color of the plane. You can see whether or not it's a big plane or a small plane. You can see if it's got a propeller on the nose or maybe it's got 
dual jet engines on either side under the wings. You can see if there are any logos or any text on the side of the plane. Maybe you can see if there's a pilot sitting in the cockpit or you can see if there's people in the windows waving goodbye. Maybe you can see if the plane's in the air. You can see if the plane is on the ground, whether or not the landing gear is retracted or not. You can see all sorts of things. But how are you seeing this image if it's not in front of your eyes? Because we know that your eyes are what you use to see things, yet you can sit there with your eyes open or closed and you can vividly see this airplane. You can describe it with detail. That is the power of your third eye, also known as your pineal gland. So take that for what it's worth. Next time you have a dream, you'll know where that dream is coming from and you'll know what's responsible for it. And hey, who knows? You might be accessing an alternate dimension or something in the spiritual world. Maybe you've had a dream where you've, you've encountered a, a spirit and they've given you a message and through that message, you've changed your life. I've heard stories like this before. That could be you accessing a spiritual realm through the power of your pineal gland and then translating that into this dimension where you are a physical body and you're, you're an act, interacting with society and you know otherwise in a awakened state. But anyway guys that's about it. That's about all I have regarding this topic. I hope you found this interesting. I hope I didn't bore you to death with all this scientific type of mumbo jumbo. But it really is interesting stuff guys and I, I highly suggest you do some research on the pineal gland and uh, you know see for yourself you know, see what the myths are, see what the conspiracies are, and see what power your pineal gland can truly hold. And, you know, there are certain people who are spiritual, like psychics and, and you know, fortune tellers and, you know, those types of people. Those people are said to have a, a stronger connection with their pineal gland and be just be more in tune with their pineal gland. And that's why they have these spiritual and psychic abilities. So... I mean, everybody's got one. Everybody's got one of these glands. So maybe you could be psychic too. Maybe you can, you know, see into the future or just be in tune with the spiritual world and be able to see, you know, ghosts or interdimensional beings and all those sorts of things. But you got to be careful because the government does not want you to see these things and the government does not want you to have the all knowing power that is locked inside your brain. So that's going to wrap up the video for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I'm Vile Self. I want to thank you guys for watching. Peace out till next time. Nice work, Ghosts. Well done.